Mid Journey 5 is out and it looks really cool. It looks freaking amazing. And it's making some drastic improvements on some of the things that we've had issues with in the past, like wonky limbs coming out of nowhere and fingers. It's not perfect, but this is a huge, huge improvement, huge update. So if you're already using Mid Journey and you follow their announcements, all sorts of announcements that have been coming out. They actually ha gave the subscribers an opportunity to, to look at the some of the pictures first and rate which ones they like so that they could help train the underlying model. And they have another round of that that's still out there, at least as time of this recording. So that gives you a little glimpse into what the improvements look like too. These are not completely done. These aren't production ready, so it won't look exactly like this when um, when it's officially launched, uh, but it gives you kind of an idea. And with this, you can rate which ones you like better, and then it's helping train, train the model. So let's look at a couple of these just so you can get an idea of, of where it's looking. Um, particularly, I'd like to see ones that have hands because that's where I think we've seen the biggest improvement. So I'm going to choose some of these that I, I like. That one's got some fingers, a little hard to tell. It's a cool spaceship looking one there. All right, here you go. Look at that. Those fingers are almost perfect. Really, really good. Many of these pictures, you wouldn't know that it wasn't a photo. Let's see if we can find another example here. Those fingers are a little weird. Spiders don't have quite eight legs. Oh, this is close. Still looks a little funky. <laughs> Everything else looks photorealistic, and then the hands are so close. So hopefully when this is, it might actually be officially released already. I, I keep saying when they launch, but they did launch something on the 15th. Um, it looks like it's the alpha testing still. So version 5 is available. But it's not officially released yet, so hopefully the, the final result will be even better. These are just unreal how realistic some of these are. I posted uh, a picture of uh, this one on Instagram, and um, somebody commented that they thought it was actually a physical Halloween prop that we're using in our font. A couple more examples of fingers. Much improved. So this, like I said, this should be available. To be able to use it, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. Uh, you can do at the end of your prompt a dash dash v5, and then that will use version 5 instead of the default 4. Or if you type in slash settings, then you can change it. So that's, this is what that looks like. Here you go. And you can... You can actually switch between the other versions if there's things you like about the prior ones. But so far, I'm liking five enough that that's mostly what I'm sticking to. And here we can see a, a couple of examples for St. Patrick's Day. I was looking for some kind of a Banshee type character. And they gave me these ones. Great fingers on this one. Nothing too out of place. This, one looks, this one could be a zombie or a banshee. Very cool. Then when I find ones I like, I end up, uh, I'll, I'll often save the original and then I'll do a version where I can remove the background so that it's drag and droppable for projection mapping. So here I've got the same ones, but remove the background on them. That way you can just drag it onto your, your house, onto your project, and ready to go. And then additionally, I'm adding some animation to some of these. Uh, so far, I've tried two different ways. Uh, the first way was with D-ID, and I've shown that on some other videos, but I tried that one. And then I just did some simple animation in After Effects as well. So let me show you kind of what that looks like. Okay, here's the first one that I did with D-ID. Now, the edges are a little funky. That's just because of the background removal tool I was using. Um, but it's transparent background, so we, that can be blended once you put it into your project. Since this is a 
an unusually shaped face, we'll say, then uh, it doesn't look quite as natural, but it's still cool. Still does a good job. And I've got another video on DID as well. It does a good job. That's just a little pricey. Let's look at the other one that I just threw cranked out with Adobe After Effects. This one, because it was in After Effects, I was able to add some other things too, like making the eye look around, changing or animating the flame and having it change colors, a little, a little subtle wind. And actually, I like this one better because I have a little more control over it. And uh, like I, you've got the glow from the fire on her hair. I, I should make that match. So there's some things I want to do to this still uh, to make it make it look even cooler. So that that's basically it for this video. Go out and give version five a try and see if it uh, how, how it works for you. Now, like I've, I've been doing some Tatooine ones for a Star Wars show, Forest of Endor. So it's it's looking really good so far.